Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft 121, the Tricky Trials update. And I can tell you I am absolutely stoked for this update because there are some awesome new blocks, there are some new mobs and just a bunch of really really cool stuff. And then of course there are the trial chambers which I think is what this update is named for. And that's what we're going to be checking out today. I'm going to make my way over to the trial chambers dressed in nothing but my loincloth because I want to find out if they are a viable method of getting some good early game loot. I've looked up the location of one of the trial chambers and we're going to be heading straight there. But before we do, just check, make sure, have you subscribed yet? If not, smash that button. It's fun, it's easy and of course it's free. So let's make our way over to the trial chambers. I'll probably be picking up one or two little things on the way there. Maybe just a few very basic tools and some food. But that's about it. And this is where I'm going to make a quick pit stop. I'm going to grab some wood from the dark oak tree. And then I will be making myself a pickaxe, an axe just for a little bit of defense. And then I was thinking perhaps I should go and look for some sheep so I can make myself a bed. Just to make sure that I can set my spawn point whenever I need to and not have to run all the way from spawn if I do die. And now that I've got a ton of wood, we can hunt down some sheep, get some wool and make ourselves a bed. And that wasn't the prettiest kill I've ever done. But um, yeah, we got the wool we needed. So here's another sheep. Let's get him as well. And then I think I'll just get a little bit more food, get some coal to cook it all up. And then we'll go find the trial chambers. <laughs> Now, according to my research, the trial chambers is just below me. So I'm just going to light up this cave, see if I can find a way down. And uh, if I don't, I'll probably have to resort to digging. Oh, more coal. And yeah, I have found a way down over here. It's not the best, but I think it'll do. I would have been much happier if there was a better path. And I see you, creeper. Let's see if I can whack him from here. And oh, he's angry. He angry. Oh, he blow up. Anyway, no harm done. Let's carry on down into the abyss. And we should be reaching the trial chambers any second now. We are at Y minus 13, I think. Ah, yes. There we go. Just look. Oh, look at those tough bricks. I can't wait to get building with this stuff. But for now, I'm just going to dig a little hole here and get into the trial chamber. And there we go, there it is, our first look at the trial chamber, and jeez, it is absolutely massive, and that is a ton of copper. So, if you ever need any copper, you now know where to go, just find a trial chamber. And we have to make our way down carefully, because as I said, I'm going in with nothing but my loincloth, and I don't think I would have survived that drop to the floor. But we're gonna go down over here, and I actually came in right next to a vault. However, I don't have a trial key to open it, so we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna find one. And uh, I, I don't know how any of this works. I think you have to go in, battle the mobs there. Uh, chest is empty, that's very disappointing. But yeah, I think you need to battle the mobs, and then you get some trial keys from them. Ooh. Oh, the pots have loot in them, that's awesome. Okay, excuse me for a second while I go full link. And I actually, we got a trial key from that pot. I thought you had to battle the monsters, but it doesn't really matter. I got one and I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to celebrate by smashing some pots. And I think it's time I started taking this a little bit more seriously. Figure out what exactly I'm supposed to be doing here, where I'm supposed to be going and um, try and make sense of this all because I will be honest this is all a little bit overwhelming this place is massive I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just walking around trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go what I'm supposed to do um, but I think I'll start by finding some spawners and killing some monsters because that was the part that I read and we found the spawner and here come the monsters however they are trapped over there and they can't get to me, yet I can smack them from down here. So I think I will just quickly take care of these guys and then we'll move on. And there we go, we have defeated all of the monsters and the spawner has gifted me a key. Let's go grab it. And that is absolutely awesome. I now have three trial keys 
And dispensers. Okay, so they've got dispensers with some awesome goodies in here. Uh, scratch that. Snowballs and... Ooh, lingering potion of poison. That could come in very, very handy. Anyway, let's see what else is up here. Just some more. Ooh. And there we go. It's a Breeze, one of the new mobs in the game. And um, I've never fought one, obviously. I don't know what it does. It yeets. It yeets. That's what it does. Oh, does it yeet. Anyway, um, okay. He, he's stuck there for a second. Let me just have something to eat. And then, oh, uh, no. Okay, he yeet hard. Anyway, let's get back up there and let's go show him who's boss. And, seriously? Okay, I just got back up and he's gone down. Now I got some fire charges from dispenser. I don't know if I can use them, to be honest. I've never really played with fire charges because my mom taught me not to play with fire. Anyway, let's see if we can find that breeze. There he is. Uh, seriously, this is like some Scooby-Doo nonsense going on here. Shaggy chasing the ghost all through the corridors. Uh, or is it the ghost chasing Shaggy? I'm not sure, but my axe just broke. And I've got a fresh axe, and this breeze is going down. And let's see. Yeah, we've got some breeze rods. Uh, I know you can use them for crafting, but I don't know what you can make with them. But first, parkour! And there's another breeze up here. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Hey! Ow! Oh, yeah. uh, oh, no, 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 little child, little child, no, little child. Um, ooh, that was close, but they can't get here. I'm safe over here as long as the breeze doesn't show up. So let's take care of these guys, and then I'll go hunt down that errant breeze. And I think that is the last of them. Now it's just the breeze that I still need to find. I got a little bit of food from them. So that'll help me in the long run. But first, we need to discover where this breeze went. I think that's his spawner. Ooh, another key. Awesome. And, um, yeah, where did this guy go? He's hiding down here somewhere. It's Scooby-Doo time again. Uh, let's go down this way and see if we can locate him. These chests are all empty and it sucks. And there he is. And he's not getting away this time. Come back here. I uh, gotcha. And more breeze rods. And I think I just heard that spawner click. So let's go see what it wants to give us. But first. Okay, no, not yet. But first. Poco! Okay, third time's the charm. Here we go. Poco! And on my first try as well. Anyway, let's go see what did we get. We got yet another key, and that makes five altogether, so it's time to open some vaults. And there's a vault right behind these beautiful copper blocks, and there it is. Um, now, how do I do this? Does it automatically consume the key? Uh, I suppose I have to have it in my hand. Okay, here we go. Um... I would have thought you just click on it with a key, but apparently I'm doing something wrong. Do I have to chuck it on top? It, no, that's that's not working either. Why does it not like my key? Why is it not giving me my goodies? Uh, okay. Let's think on this one for a second. So as it turns out, there are two different kinds of vaults. There's the normal orangey one that I've got in front of me, and you can see the key works just perfectly on that one. And then there are the ominous vaults, and for those you need an ominous key, and uh, I don't have an ominous key, and I have no idea how to get one. So I'm just going to go around and open some of these normal vaults. As you can see, we're getting some good stuff. We're getting some diamonds, some armor trim. And if I recall correctly, there's another one right here. So let's pop that key in and let's see what it gives us. We've got a disc. We've got some emerald, some iron, and um, what the heck ever that was. And oh, we have a crossbow as well. So let's check that out. Piercing two. Not bad, not bad. But I really do want to find an ominous key so it can open up the ominous vault at the top there. And um, geez, this place is a maze and I am lost yet again. But I recognize this piece and when I get here, I know what time it is. It's parkour time. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's just get up this stupid thing because um, this is the simplest parkour in the world and I keep failing it. Alright, so I've looked up how to get an ominous key, and apparently I have to chug this ominous bottle. 
And that will turn this spawner into an ominous spawner. And uh, apparently it spawns lumberjacks. That is very, very interesting. I mean, seriously, tell me that doesn't look like a lumberjack. But oh, that was not what I was planning on doing. So let's get back out of here and then let's go get these monsters taken care of and hopefully that will give us an ominous key and we can go and open the ominous vault. So first things, let's get out of the water and then let's go take care of the lumberjack and his buddies. It's this way. All right, here we go. I'm going to block this off so they can't get down and here comes Mr. Lumberjack and he's brought all of his friends with him. So let's just take care of these guys. And that was the last of them, and uh, apparently while you've got the ominous effect on you, you've got these ominous objects that appear, and ominous, ominous is being said a lot here. Anyway, as you can see, these ominous objects appear, and it ranges from bottles like this one right in front of me, to arrows and other stuff, but let's just get out of its way. And here we go, it's time to battle the breeze once again. Um, as soon as I can find them, I have no idea where they have gone. But basically, since I've chugged the ominous potion, all of these spawners have turned into ominous spawners and they are spawning some more monsters. This time, it seems they've got better gear, like the... Ouch. Okay, well, that has not gone well. Anyway, we're back. Let's go grab our gear and let's try and stay alive this time. I'll just go this way. Yeah, here's all my goodies. So let's just grab all of this. Now the problem is, of course, that I still don't have any armor. So anything that hits me, I'm pretty much done in one shot. Because, like a genius, I have set this thing too hard and not too easy or normal. And let's take care of this breeze over here. He seems to be a little bit stuck. Oh, he still hurts a lot. Eh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay, there we go. Let's just take care of Mr. Husk over there. And then we'll go hunt down the rest of them. And here's the dude that killed me last time. And it's easy to see why. He's got a freaking diamond sword. But payback is one of those, bro. Anyway, let's carry on. And let's go find the rest of these monsters so we can kill them. And hopefully get our ominous trial key. So once again, parkour. And... Ooh. Ah, okay, I think we've only got the breezes left. There's two of them right there. And I'll see if I can take care of them without getting taken out myself. But first, let's collect our reward. And we have a steak. And not steaks, just a steak. All right, so we're still struggling to get rid of these two breezes over here. And um, I think I'm just going to charge in, take care of them. And this one has been isolated, so let's get him. I uh, missed. That would have been perfect. But uh, apparently, what is uh, what is hurting? What is going on? Why am I... Come back here, let me... Serious. Oh, silverfish, silverfish. No, don't, don't. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. I am done for. Let's just get some... Scooby-Doo! Anyway, um, okay, let's get this guy. There we go. That's that's all right. And there goes the breeze. So let's go catch him. Just give myself a little bit more hearts. And here we go. Let's get him. He's stuck. And that was my axe. So that is the second axe that I've lost. And I have a fresh one. Let's get this breeze. Because I don't think there's many of them left. I think there is actually only one left. It's time for some parkour. And hey, I'm actually doing it this time. Ah, look at that. First time. This time for real. Anyway, one more breeze down there. And uh, let's stop. No, no, there's two of the... <sighs> Seriously, can you guys just stop and... What? No, more silver fish. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, this is just embarrassing. Killed by a silver fish. Fantastic. Moving on. Okay, we're back, and no, I cannot die to a silverfish twice in a row, and they are so freaking difficult to hit. And then, of course, we've got all of the ominous objects happening all around us, but I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are closing in on finishing off these breezes. I think there is one more here somewhere, and hopefully they will give us the vault key, the ominous vault key was the ominous trial key whatever it's called maybe hopefully they will give us one if i can just find the guy 
That would be fantastic. And he's Scooby Dooing around in the corridors once again. So let's just make our way through here. There he is. And I got you this time. There is no escape. There is no surrender. It's either him or me. And uh, I hope it's not me again. I've died enough times in this wretched place. Can we just finish off this breeze? Um, I've still got a little bit of food, but I'm rapidly running out of everything that I've brought with me. And I haven't been finding much down here. So let's just get this guy and there we go. It is done, ladies and gentlemen. And I think I just heard that spawner give up the goods. So hopefully for the last time, parkour! Ah, uh, screw this. Let's just build it up. Anyway, let's go check what we got. And we have received for all our troubles and our efforts. We have... Golden carrots. We got two golden carrots. That... Seriously, dude, come on! So after that bit of disappointment, let's open up some vaults and hopefully we get some good stuff. So, I've got five keys. I have this vault right here and, and... Come on. Why? Oh, hang on. I'm trying to open it with an arrow. That's fantastic. Anyway, here we go. We've got... Ooh! Yes, please. Diamond chest plate. Okay, now we're getting some good stuff. And this is good because I think so far I've been struggling because I had no armor whatsoever. And now that I've got some decent armor, we're gonna have a much easier time of this, so let's go and do it. Okay, so apparently the armor was not the issue, it was just that I suck. Anyway, we've got some diamond armor and we're gonna try and do this a little bit better, be a little bit more careful, and hopefully we'll be able to get all of these vaults open without dying again. All we need to do is take it easy, be more calculated, be more careful, and we'll be fine. And so much for that. No, oh, bad, bad, bad skeleton. Go away. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I've got no gear. I've got a bad skeleton over here. And yeah. Anyway, despite all of that, I managed to get a blue key, which means I can now go and open an ominous vault and hopefully get a heavy core because I desperately want to make a mace. So let's pull her up here. There is an ominous vault up top here and hopefully this is going to give us a heavy core. So let's just grab our key. Let's slot it in here and let's see what fantastic goodies we get. Oh, a notch apple straight off the bat. We got some emeralds. We got Oh, and another set of diamond armor protection too. Oh, yes, please. That is even better than what I've got right now. So let's pop that on. And then, um, yeah, still no heavy core, unfortunately. But we're getting some decent gear. And that was mainly what I came here to see. Can we come in with absolutely nothing and get out of here with some decent gear? So far, it's working out okay. I've died a bunch of times. Hopefully, I won't die anymore. Because now we have got something to protect ourselves with. And if we could just find a decent weapon, I think we will be in pretty good shape. So let's go see if we can get another ominous key. And I've downed the ominous potion. The enemies are spawning. Let's see. I'm going to do the smart. Place a block in there. And then they'll come over here. I can just whack them through the little hole. And hopefully they won't be able to shoot me. That is, of course, if we can get them to come here. So yeah, it's big brain time. And this is gonna be awesome. Let's get him. And it seems that I'm the one who got got. I have broken my bed and didn't reset my spawn. So I am back where I started with nothing to my name. And I guess that answers the question. Can you go into a trial chamber, get some easy early game loot? Well, yes, you can. Would I recommend it? Not unless your name is Filza, Wadzi, or SB737. But that's all we've got time for today, ladies and gents. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.